Hey, my name is Aline, I'm an electrical engineering consultant at WSCAD and this is part 3 of a video series in which I'm trying to demonstrate the capabilities of the WSCAD suite. Make sure to watch the other two videos before continuing with this one. The project we are working on is a packaging unit of an installation and it contains not only electrical parts but also pneumatic drives like the robotic gripper and the label maker. Let's see how the WSCAD suite handles creating fluid schematics. These are the electrical parts of the valves that we have already placed in the schematics but now we need to create the fluid schematics. And uh, opening the part management database I notice I don't have any parts other than the valves in my database so I will just open WSCAD universe real quick and look for the parts that I need to complete my electrical schematics. I already uh, searched for and jotted down the numbers of the parts I need so I'm just going to search for them in universe, add them to the cart and import them when done. After the import was successful, the parts are already in my database and I can place them in my uh, fluid schematics. So, for example, this uh, maintenance unit, which I've already placed. And for the valves, I'm going to use the material explorer again, like I did in the cabinet part of the series, where I'm just going to drag and drop the pneumatic part of uh, those valves and as you can see uh, it creates automatically a cross reference to uh, the electrical schematics and uh, from the electrical schematics back again to the fluid ones so let me just finish the drawing placing the gripper and the label maker We will also need the fluid toolbar in order to complete the nodes and that is it. Now because we are uh, done with all the parts of this project, now it is time to uh, just go ahead and generate the necessary reports. Uh, for the project and this is very easy and it's done with just a click of a button on report and all of your necessary reports will be generated here's your material list or the terminal chart which can be a list or graphic or the wiring chart where you can see the lengths of the cables like I mentioned in the video before. So that's it. Make sure to check the next video to see the ways in which you can automate the creation of your schematics.